How's it going guys? It's Tevin. Today we're going to be taking a look at finally uh, Follow Liker, how to set it up, how to use it, what it is, and uh, basically everything you need to know how to make your Instagram automated to get a shitload of followers to be honest. So this is their website. Um, right now I only mess around with the Instagram Follow Liker. I don't know anything about the uh, Twitter version, Pinterest version, Tumblr version. I only mess around with the, the Instagram edition and, it, and it's working and I'll show you guys here in a minute. Um, so for pricing, this is one of the better priced ones as you can buy for a hundred bucks one time fee instead of paying a monthly retainer. Um, I know a lot of places they, they charge you just month over month, which is really annoying and it's not even unlimited accounts. So if you want five accounts, it's 77 bucks. One account, it's 57 bucks or hundred bucks for unlimited accounts, fully featured, you name it, and done. Um, this is against the terms of use for Instagram. I just wanna put that out there. So you can get banned from doing this. It is, it's pretty difficult to get banned. Um, I've been doing three accounts on my own software and everything has been going fine. Anything more than that, then I recommend you getting into using proxies and virtual private servers and whatnot to hide your IP. But other than that, guys, Let's jump in how to set it up and how well it's working for me. Um, so first things first, you're going to want to go to Fall Liker products, uh, Instagram version, check it out, buy it. You could possibly even do the Twitter version if you're uh, interested. I know they've got packages too where you can do like two things at once. Let's see here. Yeah, so you can do like Twitter and Instagram for 177 and that's not that bad. That way you can run them both and uh, get a bunch of people on your Twitter as well. So we're going to be jumping over here to our follow liker. This is exactly what it looks like when you pull it up. And I'm going to run you through exactly how I'm doing it. So before we even jump in how I'm setting it up, I'm going to show you what I'm getting from it. So I got four of my accounts here. I only run three at the moment. Why would I see Food Life, which is my niche account. If you've been watching my other videos, that's my food account. Uh, First Act Marketing, which is my business account and Bench Brothers, which is my personal account. So we can go and check out the statistics of Bench Brothers. And you're gonna see here that within the past, like what, quite a few days, um, 30, 57, 97, 86, 40, 103. Um, at this moment right here, I was dropping my followers, as you can see on the right-hand side. So. Um, I'm unfollowing a mass amount of people, and that way it brings my unfollows back down. Uh, so I did lose a couple people through there. Not very many, considering how many I'm gaining all the other times. So as you can see, 138, 100, 115, 116, 148. So I'm getting a huge, huge amount. Um, so that's that's pretty awesome. I mean, like, there's nothing more to it than that. I'm getting a lot of followers really quickly. Um, this is my personal account and I started, I believe a month, almost two months ago at 248 followers. And now I'm at 3,145, which is really awesome. I started my food account three, four months ago now, and I'm at 4,675 and I'm still getting followers daily and they're still growing very, very quickly. Um, again, see, that's where I dropped my followers, dropped it down quite a bit, didn't lose very many. And otherwise, I'm growing very, very quickly. Um, so let's talk about how to set it up. So when you first jump into Follow Liker, you're going to be launching this program. And the most important thing you want to remember is you need to continuously update this program. It'll always tell you to update it. It always pops up a notification in my corner that you need to update it. If it says update it, take the time to update it. It's really important. First things first is you're going to start a new project. You're going to type in a new file name and you're going to get it going. I already have this set up here, so I'm not going to do it. It's going to pull you up into here. Um, your next step is you're going to go to File, General, Settings. Um, there's a couple different ways you can set this up. I run three per proxies, so three account per proxy um, at 15 account threads. And then my automation interval is two to three minutes. Um, I think it was generally set at three to four and some people set it at one to two. So I would recommend going two to three. That's where I've found some really good, like that's where I found it to be the best. Um, you want to make sure you check enable activity logging and check enable continuous automation. 
So your next step is you're going to jump into creating an account. So what you're going to do is you're going to press new. You're going to type a username and password. So whatever your Instagram login. So for mine, it would be YYC Food Life and then my password. And then it'll pull it up exactly like this. Most of your stuff is going to say proxy NA, media NA, following NA. Everything is just going to say NA for now. Um, that's okay. It'll change as you grow and as it gets more information on your account. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into custom settings. So you're going to right click on the bar. So you can click it, right click on the bar, go to custom settings down at the very bottom, move over to wizard. Um, here we're going to set up the account to tell it exactly what to do. So the ones that I do personally is I scrape user, I unfollow, I scrape photo, I follow, and like. Simple as that. Um, I have been setting it on shuffle tasks, uh, but I've been turning it on and off just to see how it's going to work. Um, and then retrieve existing follows, followers and followings. I turned that off just to test it, but I recommend turning that on. You're also going to want to put show advanced options at the very bottom left-hand corner there. That changes everything as we go through it. So you're not going to have to worry about touching any of this stuff for now. The, the two main things you could focus on is blacklisting and whitelisting. So blacklisting is basically people who shouldn't be followed, liked, or commented, or or mailed, any of that stuff. So if you've got competition, so for my YYC, no, let's say for my first act marketing account. So for our social media marketing account, I want to try to avoid other social media marketing agencies. Um, and if there's a really big one in your city, I would try and put them in there to make sure they're not, uh, you know, not followed, not bothered. You don't want to piss off your competition. All this, the reason why this is in here is because I've got it set to blacklist people I unfollow. That way they don't refollow them. Uh, whitelist is people that you want to stay following. So if you have any close relationships with uh, business owners or friends, family, or you just want to keep seeing their posts, you're going to want to add them right there. And that way it'll never unfollow them or anything. Jumping onto the next screen there, we're going to press next. Um, this is going to be for scraping the users. So I set my scrape user limit at 40. Uh, make sure ignore users with no profile picture. I mean, generally, if they don't have a profile picture, they're not that into using Instagram anyways. Ignore private users. It's not worth your time. And next, we're going to set up their query here. So how you do that is you're going to right click. You're going to hit new. It's going to be a uh, blank for you, so don't worry. And you have a whole bunch of different variations of how you want to scrape Instagram to find followers or to follow people. Tons of different variations. So the first one is the users who's tagged. So I always, like, that's generally your best bet. So users who have tagged food porn, Calgary foodies, food, uh, foodie, hashtag food. Basically, whatever you can find for tags, so you want to put as many as you can in there and fill it up as much as you can so it'll scrape as many users as possible. Um, I know it does have a scrape user limit of 40, but still it's better to have as many hashtags as possible. The other one that I use is location, so just type in the locations of places where you'd want to scrape photos from, and then users follower and users following. Um, so that's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to follow users follower or follow users following. So this is really handy when you're targeting your competition and you want to make sure you follow their followers because obviously they're interested in what your business is because it's similar. It's a competition, but you don't want to follow your competition specifically. Uh, moving over to scrape photo and video settings. I run it at 66 for scrape photos. Um, I don't put any check marks in any of the top here. Go through and it's the same idea. And so I set up just a couple hashtags and whatnot. So you can go through, um, generally set up underneath relevant and you just type out hashtags. So like food porn, why we see food, uh, hashtag food, beautiful cuisines. And these are all users photos. So I'll go through and check all these users photos and like them. Um, and that way it engages me with people that are in my market and for a restaurant one a restaurant instagram account like mine it works really well 
Um, I want them to notice me and hopefully they'll repost from me. This is a little bit different when it comes to our social media marketing agency as we want to stay away from our competitors. I want to be integrated with our competitors with this account so I can get more people to show my account to. So now we're going to jump into the follow user settings. So the first things first is follower to following ratio. I run at zero. Um, the follow limit is 10 to 20. And I want to just go over the idea that you want to make sure that your account is aged before doing this. So if your account isn't at least two weeks old, I don't recommend setting these settings as high as they are. This is going to get you a crazy amount of followers really quickly, but you got to make sure that account is aged. Otherwise it does get flagged by Instagram and that will be a problem. It, it will be a problem. <laughs> but anyways, if your account's aged for two weeks, then there there's no reason why there should be any problem. And these are some pretty aggressive settings. I would say this is more on the high end. So if you really want to get some followers quickly, this is the settings you want to put it at. So your follow limit is going to be 10 to 20. The daily follow limit is going to be 600 to 750. So that's how many times you're going to be following people in a day. Um, the delay follow is 45 to 75. The reason why you don't want to have it like 45 to 45 is because it's going to look like a computer's doing it. It's like a, a bot is following literally every 45 seconds. But that way it's spread out. So it's kind of like 45, 49, 72, just random times to following every, you know, 45 to 75 seconds. You want to make sure you click ignore private user. Again, there's no point of following those guys. Uh, next is like photo slash video settings. Uh, my like limit is set to 40 uh, to 50. Daily like limit is 100 to 120. And then I delay my like from 40 to 60 seconds. These are very, very low settings when it comes to like photos. I'm specifically focusing on getting more follow followers using the follow and unfollow settings instead of the like photo settings but it's definitely a route you can take and if you want to go this route you can really amp up these settings like you can set um, the daily like limit to five to eight hundred photos liked that's and you'll be fine with that as long as you change the delay like to a little bit quicker everything should go fine there and it should work really well um, the next thing is setting up a time limit. So this is a really good way for people to make it seem like you're actually a user instead of a bot. And so you can set up an automation time from, I always do it from 10 a.m. till 2.21 a.m. every day. Uh, that way it kind of looks like that's about the times that I'd be using it. And I always take Monday off for all of my settings other than unfollow. So that kind of slows everything down on Mondays, but then everything picks back up for the rest of the week. And I'm still on following on Mondays, so I can clear some of those followers that I don't really want. And then when you're done, you hit finish. Um, I just have to refresh an account here. We go to start on the right-hand corner there. You're going to press start. It's going to run the spinny wheel. Um, it's going to say status starting. It's going to back up your project in the corner there. If you're on Windows, um, it's going to run through and it's going to say username and password verified. It has to do it for all of them. Zero to three Instagram accounts have finished. So right now it's going to be scraping. Um, you leave it here and you're good to go. Everything's set up. Everything's going to be automated for you. You no longer have to do any of the stuff that you've been doing daily when you're trying to find more followers. You do want to make sure that you post. One of the biggest things I do recommend, though, is do not like photos of people that aren't, hold on, how do I word this? So you don't want to like photos from people you aren't following when you aren't on the Wi-Fi that this computer is set up on. So whatever, wherever you're running your follow liker, that's generally where you should be doing your Instagramming that isn't related to your followers, if that makes sense. And the reason being is, so one of the things that I've done, and I actually got myself shadow banned a couple times, was I'd have this going, and I'd go to the gym, and I'd be on a different Wi-Fi, which would be a different IP address, and I'd continually blast people to follow them. And what this did was put a little shadow ban on my account. Um, I got shadow banned for about five days, and I couldn't follow, unfollow, I couldn't do anything with my account. It was useless. 
but that was a hundred percent because I spent the time to follow more people when I was at the gym on a different IP address. You can still post, you can still like, as long as you're liking your fault, like whoever you're already following, don't go out and reach out to new people for any, anything in Instagram, no liking, no following, no unfollowing, unless you're on your Wi-Fi that follow like or set up on. And that's basically that guys. And I, I really want to thank you for, Thank you all for watching my videos and taking the time to sit down and really grasp these concepts. And I hope each and one of you guys can be successful. That is the goal. And I, I truly want to help each and one of you out. And that being said, I was going to consider offering to do your follow liker for you. Um, I was going to buy the virtual private server and the VPS software, run it from my own servers that I pay for and then charge a small monthly fee depending on how many likers you want to go. So if you want to go like uh, slow, medium, or fast, we could definitely go down that route. If that's something you guys are interested in, um, you can drop a comment or like below. I mean, the difference would be instead of you guys dropping the $100 American up front and having to go through this program and run it constantly on your computer, because that is the other big thing. Your computer cannot turn off. So if you just have a laptop and you bring it around with you, you can't use this program. But I always run my computer just at my house and I carry around another additional MacBook. So this is why it works for me. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I could set up some pricing and see what I could do to just run your guys' account. I know it won't be too expensive. It'll be a monthly fee. I'll set up your account, make sure everything's running great, and then send you the analytics of how it's doing. And then you can basically see if that's something you want to continue with. Uh, I really thank you guys for watching. Have a good one. Bye.